Oh, hey YouTube, welcome back to Tony the Technician channel. And today, this is probably one of the last days you will ever see this garage. So here in a couple days, I'm leaving. Uh, actually, by the time I post this video, I'm probably already gone. So this may be very well the last time you ever see this wall. So today, we're gonna be talking about Harbor Freight and the new items I saw as I walked through this final time here in El Paso. Um, basically items that are new to 2017 or the last couple of months. Um, as well as I'm gonna throw in some items that I think are good deals. Let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of people just hate Harbor Freight, so you're gonna hate whatever I say anyways. So, starting off, they have the Bauer, Hercules, and Earthquake XT cordless tools now. <clears throat> and I'll throw in pictures of all these. To me, uh, yeah, they're powerful. Um, cordless tools <clears throat> that a lot of do-it-yourselfers like. Um, I think a lot of do-it-yourselfers are gonna be happy with, and as long as you're a do-it-yourselfer, you're not using the tools every single day, all day, uh, they're gonna last you a while. But to me, this is my own personal opinion, yeah, I've seen videos, oh, they're as strong as Snap-on and DeWalt and Milwaukee, they're comparing it to all the best brands that we know out there. Uh, and yeah, they might do good, but hey, my question is, are they gonna last? And the batteries, are they gonna last? Not just the tool, but the batteries as well. Are they gonna last the same lifetime as the other tools? And a 90 day warranty? I don't like that. I feel like, you know, the, the tools are almost designed to go to crap after that. That's just my, my personal opinion. And for the price range, I'm really just gonna go with a brand name that I've trusted for many, many years, like DeWalt, Milwaukee, you know, those types because we've all known and grown to trust these companies and we know they have good products so hercules bauer uh earthquake xt yeah i, I think they're good uh stuff for do-it-yourselfers but as far as uh being used every single day for a long period of time i i don't think they're gonna hold up <clears throat> and even if they do i'm still gonna go with uh the company that i've always used or the companies that I've always used, just because they're literally like $40 more, and Milwaukee and DeWalt and all these companies, they have a much, Makita, uh, I mean, all these companies have a much larger lineup of many more tools, many more batteries, uh, to me, much more reliable stuff. So that's my take on the whole cordless tools at Harbor Freight. Um, but if you're looking for something cheap, go ahead, get, get the stuff. I'm sure it's gonna last you, especially if you're a do-it-yourselfer. Do Let's move on to the next stuff. Alrighty, YouTubers, moving on. Don't want to make this video a whole terribly long, but I do want to keep showing you guys some products that I ran into. Next up was the $90 roller seat with drawers. Um, to me, if you look at a couple other companies out there, maybe check out Jay, Summit Racing, those, uh, you can find yourself some better roller seats. But this one's $90. I believe it's three drawers. My issue is the seat, the way it's actually wrapped, it looks like the Thing is just gonna blow apart um, with the 20% discount you're gonna get it for around $70 not terrible I think it could definitely use some improving especially for a $70 to $90 product um, but overall I haven't seen it yet maybe it's been there a while who knows I don't know but I threw it in there and I'll throw pictures of all these things I'm talking about in here so you guys can see this is me actually in the store uh, they were playing really loud Christmas music and there was a bunch of people in there so I wasn't going to go recording uh, just because I was in there getting some stuff to do some touch-ups on the house. So let's move on to the next product. Next up is the Braun 63958. It is the 180 degree swivel work light. Uh, MD Lee and many others have done quick reviews on these and they seem to be a really good alternative to the Astro Pneumatic light that runs almost double the price. This one runs $30 at Harbor Freight. You can get it down to about $24, 20 or $24, something like that. Um, I didn't pick up any of these things. You guys, I was gonna make a video of all these things that I picked up, but I'm in the middle of moving in between college and starting my new job. Right now is not the time I need to go spending money on stuff that I don't need right now. So that's why I'm just showing you guys images of these items that I think are interesting, good deals and new deals. So the Braun uh, 
180 degree swivel light. Seems like a really good product. It's got an aluminum body for the handle. It's rechargeable, it's waterproof. Uh, 395 or something lumens like that so a really bright little work light it's got some length to it it's got a bright dim and a flashlight uh, option or you know mode for it um, so it seems like a really good deal especially if you have been interested in the astro light which is identical to it uh, for basically half the price so if you're interested pictures once again around here sometime uh, and then next up is the Braun Underhood work light. Now, I was pretty excited when I saw this. I was like, oh, I, I picked up the Harbor Freight Underhood work light about a year ago. I was like, oh, you know, they upgraded. Well, I got to looking at it literally. Once again, another picture in here somewhere. It looks identical to this work light. I don't know if you guys have it and could compare it, um, but it looks identical. I think it's around 900 lumens. I'm not for sure. Um, this doesn't actually tell me. What the lumens is so maybe the bronze is bright i don't know this one does have 120 leds the handles the options the hook uh the detachable ends with the magnet the rubber base uh protection the button the handle design the grips everything exactly the same except for the bronze is yellow and black and this one is red and black i don't know Maybe if I looked at them side to side, I would find some major differences, but I really don't think so. I, I'm guessing maybe the Braun is just maybe brighter. Um, other than that, the Braun, I'm not even sure. I think it's they're selling it for 40 or $50. This one I got for 24. It usually sells for about 30. So they added another $10 for a yellow version. Maybe a little bit brighter, I don't know. But it seems like pretty good underhood work life for here at home. Um, it's worked good for me. Sorry, I don't have it here to actually show you guys. I do have the box though. So let's move on to the next item. All right, you guys. So next up on new items is the Doyle uh, pliers. Uh, they have a lineup. Now they compare these to the Kleins in the book, which I think is ridiculous. Why you would compare them to the best electrician tool out there? That's besides the point. So I take. Uh, I take a look at these. I took a look at them. Um, now, the entire top row in the photo is all made in Taiwan. Uh, and that's going to be your line. All of them except for the normal slip joint pliers. Those are made in China. All the other ones on the top row, the linemen's, the long nose, the diagonal side cutters, all of those are made in Taiwan. And they seem to be, you know, pretty good quality for the price. You're paying anywhere from 5 to $20 for each pair of pliers. And then the bottom row, which is your adjustable pump pliers or uh, water pump pliers, whatever you want to call them, the entire bottom row, those are all made in China. So Doyle is both China and Taiwan, just depending on the type of pliers that you get. And once again, price ranges from $5 to $25 if you get their big uh, adjustable pump pliers. Now moving on to Quinn. The Quinn lineup, it's a smaller lineup of pliers. Sorry about the plane, guys. I'm just gonna continue with this video because I don't want it to be stupid long and it's already getting lengthy. So, the Quinn lineup is a little bit cheaper and they're all made in China. All of them are gonna be made in China. Uh, I do think they're better than the Pittsburgh Pro pliers or whatever you used to get at uh, Harbor Freight as far as the plier lineup, but once again, not gonna be the best. But, once again guys, you can't operate these pliers because it, both Quinn and Doyle have these pliers in a plastic case where you can't open them, so you don't actually know what it feels like, how they operate, stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of a downside. Now, getting to Bremen, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It's, it's their new uh, vice grip locking pliers, and they seem to pre be pretty decent, all made in Taiwan as far as I, I know or remember, so uh, pretty good prices there. But let's move on to the next slide. Okay, YouTubers, one of the last items as far as newer items that I noticed, they might not be new, once again, I don't know. Lots of hand movements in this video. So, that would be the red one drawer service cart and the one drawer black service cart. The red one, I believe, was $72, the black one, $100. Uh, the black one definitely seemed like a little bit better quality or it has a middle shelf, so you're paying $20 for a little bit bigger service cart. Both of them seem like pretty good options, though. I mean, they're both pretty cheap. 
Uh, and then you got your standard four drawer black service cart and your five drawer red one that everybody loves. Uh, but if you're looking for a small service cart for a fairly good price and decent quality, those two new ones are new to me. I don't know if they, they could be around for a long time. I don't know. Uh, those seem like pretty good deals. And then you got the Yukon. They did have their uh, uh, toolbox there, the, the new Yukon toolbox. Now they have the Yukon workbench cabinet work area. It's just like the toolbox except it has one top drawer, I believe, and then it's just a cabinet down below. I think it's around $270. Seems like an okay price, but uh, for just a cabinet area, I mean, it should probably be around $200. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, let me know what you guys think of the Yukon stuff and these service carts. Um, now, besides that, that's all the new stuff that I really ran into. Besides, you know, drill bits from Hercules and Bauer, stuff like that. Um, other stuff that I ran into were that I enjoy from Harbor Freight are the little cases of like screws, bolts, washers, um, zip ties, electrical tape, all that cheap stuff. Get it Harbor Freight. It's super cheap and it works just fine. I mean, it's very simple stuff. Um, other stuff at Harbor Freight, I'm gonna get into once I look at pictures and know what I took pictures. Other items that I would suggest to anybody, whether you're a professional or a do-it-yourselfer, is the 24 inch or 25 inch uh, half inch breaker bar. Boom. Uh, really good product. I mean, they've compared it in many videos, you know, to other breaker bars. You're paying anywhere from $9 to $20 for this breaker bar an eighth of the price that you're gonna pay for Snap-on or Matco or anything like that, and it's gonna do you just fine. And you got lifetime warranty, so if you do break it, boom, get yourself a new one. I think that's a great deal. Uh, next up is the green cold punch and chisel set. I'm not sure which one it is that everybody recommends, but I've heard absolutely great things about it for the price. So there's all the sets that Harbor Freight offers in that picture. Um, so heard really good things about that. And then next up, now, there are more items, but I wasn't going to take pictures of every single thing I saw in Harbor Freight that I would suggest to a do-it-yourself or a professional. Next up is their toolbox, or their toolboxes. Now, back in the day, they used to be horrible. Um, but they were cheap, so people still bought them, and not everybody needs an expensive box. You really don't need an expensive box if you're not a professional, uh, because you can find inexpensive boxes out there for a good price. So Harbor Freight has came a long ways with their U.S. General Toolboxes and the 72 inch uh, toolbox, the long one, um, that seems like a real, it's around $1,000. Everything else is basically cheaper. You got the bigger box or the taller box and everything. Um, I think they've done a really good job on them. The, the little locking mechanism for each drawer can be kind of annoying, but the drawer slides work great. Uh, the condition of the box or the quality of the box is definitely improved and it seems well worth the money, especially if you're a do-it-yourselfer. It's gonna last you a long time. I think they've done a great job. And I took a picture of the casters on the 72 inch. I hadn't even looked at them before. Those are some beefy casters for that 72 inch work box. Um, overall, I think Harbor Freight has done a really good job with their uh, toolboxes and they've came a long ways. So if you're interested in, in an inexpensive toolbox that's gonna last you a while, especially if you're a do-it-yourself or it will probably last you your lifetime. Uh, that's probably a good way to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think that's everything that I took pictures of. Uh, if not, boom, 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 pictures. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and this is probably the last time you'll ever see this garage. So uh, join me again in Indiana. Maybe I'll do a video of the trip there. Who knows? See you guys next time. You guys know what to do.